Okay. Here's the uh, fuse uh, link, that blue right here. That was that black one right there. Uh, and what I get, did to get it working was I traced out that white wire that goes from the fuse link to the starter. I said, okay, the starter goes back to the positive. So we have, and, oh, and, and this thing blows regardless of what fuses I have in or out, uh, key switch on off, it doesn't matter. If everything's shut off completely, it'll still blow. So you got the positive running to the starter, obviously the negative to the ground, to the chassis ground. You got the positive running to the starter, then you have this white wire coming off the starter into the fuse block, out of the fuse block, back to the body of the harness, and then ultimately what I eventually found out was going back to right down there on the alternator. Let's see if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can light it a little bit better. There you go, right there, that nut. So disconnecting that nut. I went ahead and disconnected all the wires to the books over the ground. I disconnected all the wires on the uh, alternator, taking it out of the circuit, which once I did that, I was able to put a little jumper wire across this, and that was enough to power up the car and so I could drive home. But anyway, hopefully it's just an old uh, you know, alternator with faulty uh, rectifiers, diodes, and it's not some other problem and a new one will take care of the problem hopefully there won't be a dead short across here but I think it's peculiar that you would have a system where if the alternator shorts out when it's basically always in the circuit I mean the only thing that keeps it from flowing current is those uh, diodes, those diodes so I thought I thought it was kind of odd that by blowing a, a fusible link and taking your, your alternator out in case it fails that it would completely shut down the body electric but when I looked at the schematic sure enough that's not the only thing that's on that fuse on that fusible link is the alternator. It goes to the to the key switch and everywhere else. So uh, that seems kind of strange to me that they would make it that way. I'm not sure what this green link what it powers up, but this uh, this black link that goes that white wire does more than just the alternator, obviously, because if it had been just the alternator, it would have popped and my charge indicator would have shown that I was no longer charging, but I could have at least driven home. Uh, a note is also, you'll notice there's only one fusible link box here. On my service manual I see what appears to be two uh, fusible links. So I don't know if this was an early edition where one of these was deleted or added on at some point, maybe to address this, this whole issue. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get a new alternator and make up a new fusible link soon and hopefully take care of this problem. That's all for now. Thank you.